The stability of future generations is what men get from marriage, Brian. The woman that will be 65 and surrounded by cats will have a counterpart, and that's going to be lonely men in a lost society. Again, so let's say societally speaking, we did away with marriage. You could have the same exact familial structure, monogamy, staying together for the rest of your life, you don't need marriage for that. So the stability of future generations has nothing to do with marriage. There's more stability in a marriage though. I would argue there's less stability. There's more stability for the woman, less stability for the man. So it's all about you and the relationship? Yes, actually it is. <laughs> yes, it is all about me. This is why society is failing. Yeah. Because we're all very self seeking. We are, we're all just worried about ourselves. Every, we're not willing to make comments. Okay, I'm being a little facetious here. <laughs> but yes, tell us the truth. That's what that's what everybody does. Yes. You are looking out for your best interest. I'm looking out for my Yeah, okay, you I can am, cap. I'm looking at least I can stand up and say, Yes, I am self interested. <laughs> You oh, can I, lie. I think that I am sometimes, but that doesn't mean I have to exclusively be self-interested. Like, if I'm in an abusive relationship, I'm not going to stay in it to please him. Like, I'm going to leave because that's not safe for me. But there's a healthy balance of caring for others and putting others before yourself. And I think that's a, a huge value that is lacking in society where we're putting ourselves above others. And I don't think that's good. I'm just failing to see how, like, this self-interest component has anything to do when it comes to marriage. Because your your whole argument is that because it's not financially great for you, you're going to refuse to get involved with it, even though it might be better um, for, for your her? wife. And I don't necessarily. Yeah, that's right. Call me selfish if you want. Okay. I, yeah, m people are going to always prioritize themselves. That's not the nature. Always. That's such a pessimistic <coughs> look on life. Everything like, you do, even the selfless things, are still self-serving. I, I agree when exactly. you're not a Christian. I, no, that. even when you're a Christian, because you've chosen that you want that lifestyle. You no. want to follow Christ. That's a desire that you have. No, it's it's selfless because I'm choosing to live my life for God. For instance, there are some times where I have thoughts where I want to do things for myself, where I want to go and. But ultimately, in, what do you want? I to want, be a good follower of Christ. So right. It's, well, it's not always, it's not always, I'm not, being a Christian is not easy. Like there are days when I'm like, wow, everyone is out there partying and I feel like really lame that I'm not Because you would rather it's, be a good Christian. Not necessarily because I, I, not even because my desires are asking that, but because um, Christ has transformed my heart and, and to choosing him. It's not me when I choose to do something good. It's not, it's not me and myself that's choosing it. It's God working through me that's allowing me to choose to do good. I understand. I was raised religious. I was Christian like most of my life. Are you an atheist now? I or agnostic? Yeah, I would say more agnostic. Like I'm, I'm sort of on the fence about what is. I was trying to gauge earlier because I don't think you even said if you're pro-life or pro-choice, and I was like, is he just playing devil's advocate? I do that sometimes. Yeah, I just I, think, I I've that. seen too many things. Like uh, I don't. I just don't feel like religion in general. Um, it doesn't make enough That's sense. True. And there are things that change in religion where the Bible is supposed to be like never changing. And these new interpretations, like if you see churches in Hollywood. Um, with, oh yeah, those are messed up. Like I think that everything should be based on the Bible and it, it sucks that people are lying and saying that. But I mean, that's, but, but that's religion for the last 2000 years. It's well, always not, changed to adapt that might be religion, to but society. That, that, might, that might be the people in the religion, but that's not Christianity itself. Like, yes, the church is broke. Like, the people in the church are broken, but that doesn't mean that faith is broken. I mean, I, I get you, but there, there are so many different passages Thank that you, conflict with one another. That uh, All right. Anyway. Yeah, got it. We'll, like, we'll, I don't we'll, we'll move on. We've lingered on the marriage thing for a long time. Uh, in a sec. I'll just say that um, me and Matthew here, we're businessmen. You know we're businessmen because you find us at our places of business and as a businessman, we don't sign contracts that don't benefit <laughs> us. Therefore, That's true. <laughs> therefore, no marriage for the boys. Okay, boys. No marriage for the boys. Again. What's up? Ever again. 
Okay. I, I don't care either way. Me personally, my if my partner didn't want marriage, I'd be like, fine. I don't sure. know that I, I want to get me. married. Go off. The only yeah. type of woman. You at all? I don't want to bother changing my last name. That is such well, a I actually You don't have to change your just, last name. I just want to say one thing. The only type of woman I would ever get married to. She has to be bipolar, BPD, MPD. She's got to be like everything, bro. Like an amalgamation of all the. Him just take what Dino donated one hundred dollars. More men have died in war, but more women have destroyed men's hearts. Truth. Based. Don't let him hurt you, bro. See, I bro. think the thing is, if there's a woman with good like morals who believes in making a promise to something higher then maybe she wouldn't be your life partner if you weren't willing to marry her but here's the thing right so anybody man or a woman but let's say in this example women always reserve the right to change their mind at any time she, you could marry her and she's has these values and she could switch up a woman reserves the right at any time to become a feminist and divorce SAU. SAU? Uh, SAU? No, no, no. what? what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I, I'm just saying. Is the SAU. You reserve, you reserve the right at any moment to change up. And uh, yeah, you know. Okay, but let's move on.